Hey guys, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. I had a question, or a request, I should say, from a member who wanted me to do a card like this. Now, this is a gate fold, and it's a fold in reverse. So you will fold this around to the back side, and then fold this around to the back side. So then it would read um, correctly when you fold it together. So in order to make this, of course, you'll need to type out your uh, word type it separately okay then make sure that you path union them because you don't want them cutting separately oh goodness that would be a huge mess okay and then let's pull them out of the way get your little card blank shape thingy here you can make the size whatever you want. Probably size it to the envelope that you have that you're going to use. Okay. Oops, that's a little bit too big. The height will do four and a half. And let's try to make it as close to eight as we can. Okay. And of course, if you make your own envelopes, that's fine. And that's what I normally do. Okay, so put your uh, letters together. Come on. And we're going to size them together. Okay, let's put them up here. Make sure they're not too awfully big. Nope, that's good. And you want to see space between the letters and the card. Okay, so let's get... I'll do that. All right, so you see those blue lines that pop up there? That's what I want to see. So that tells me that they're going to be even, but I need to bring that G down so that it's even with the H. Or where's that G at? Let's bring it over here. Okay, that's where I want it. So these are the directional arrows. See, I can't move it any which way other than straight across, so I'm going to move it that way. Then I'll use this arrow to nudge it out a little bit more. Okay, that looks good. So now I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to grab two of these little guys. Actually, you can do it with just using one, but that's okay. Actually, yeah, I'll just do it using one, because that'll be easier for you guys. So let's put this one guy up here. I don't want him real thick. Let's leave him about that thick. So make him about that thick. And let's move him around. I'm telling you. These little guys aren't participating very well. I think I want to make it a little bit thicker because you want the card or the they near started with that because what when you hook them together you want them to be able to um, hook into each other by using this okay so now let's object duplicate that Okay, it's extremely humid here now, so my mouse pad is catching everything. So now let's, when we move this, the blue line should come up telling me when it's even. Yeah, you see that? Okay, so that tells me that it's even with this right here because you don't want this being lower than this one because when you try to hook them together it's gonna you know hit and you don't want that but you also don't want that to be a top that okay so let's nudge this over here okay so we know that this is above this Path union. 
And it'll all turn white, don't worry, that's fine. Okay. So now you can put in your dash marks if you want, okay? Totally up to you, or you can use your bone folder and um, make it up yourself. And I, what I normally do is I find the center, okay? And to do that, you come over here. And I hit this, and that will always find the center. Okay. And I know when you have a gatefold card, you do not need the center. That's not what I'm doing. I am finding the center so that I can use that to help me find. I just want this one. Just let me have this one. You didn't tell me it went behind there. There we go. All right. So there. And about there. Okay. And then I take this one and I delete it. You can do it however you want. I'm sure there's a million different ways. That's completely and totally fine. So come to your um, little color palette, and then you can uh, make these dashed. So see, those are nice and dashed now. Okay. Object. Group. It's thundering. All right. So that's how you go about making a gatefold card that these words join and kind of float on top and I'll do a camera portion of this so that you can see what this looks like so that'll be part two all right if you have any questions you can come and find me over at scan and cut canvas and scale help on Facebook and remember don't fold this over this way fold this around back all right so then this will fold over and then this will fold over the other way so that when they join in the middle it'll read correctly because if you fold this this way and this way it won't look right it it just won't it'll read backwards so you have to fold this behind okay and then fold that behind that way all right guys have a great day